Selma, I was in Selma. I took uh, Don Messer, who was my colleague at Boston University, and we were PhD candidates during the Selma, uh, uh, Selma events. We took two busloads of seminary students, white and black, from Boston, from Boston University, from Harvard Divinity School, from Andover Newton Theological Seminary, from Episcopal Theological Seminary, from Boston College. We took two busloads of student, of seminary students and graduate students down to Selma to participate in the movement for voting rights and to walk across the Edmund Pettus Bridge uh, with John Lewis and Martin and others. What has not been credited and made known as I can tell, were the role, was the role that the white nuns, Roman Catholic nuns, played in the Selma uh, Crusade. The Josephite sisters pulled their habits off, put on some street clothes, and moved back and forth between the white community and the black community to alert us to what was happening, what the plans were, and avoided many, many more deaths in Selma. They were key to, key to uh, Selma not being worse than it was. One, one other point, you asked me about religion. We never marched, we never protested before we went to church and prayed. Prayer and song kept the movement going. When we sang, ain't, no, ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. We meant that. Ain't nobody, ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Uh, when we sang, I shall not be moved, just like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, I will not be moved. We were determined, but it was our religious faith, it was the expression of our faith that, that, that kept us going, that enabled us to face what we faced. <clears throat> 